what animal bothered Charles Darwin so much that he once said, whenever I gaze at it, it makes me sick. In his theory of natural selection, Darwin proposed that organisms with traits better suited to their environment are more likely to survive and reproduce and pass on those traits. Over time, these traits become more common, leading to adaptations. But Darwin really didn't like this guy. It's easy to understand why. Peacocks can't fly very well. That big heavy tail gets in the way. Even worse, the bright colors make it difficult to hide from predators. On the other hand, peahens are smaller, camouflaged, and lack that extra junk in the trunk. Darwin couldn't understand why the peacock would evolve that stupid tail. And then he had another brilliant insight, sexual selection, which acts specifically on traits involved with attracting mates and reproducing. At the heart of sexual selection are the differences males and females typically invest in reproducing. Eggs are costlier to produce than sperm. They're larger and richer in resources, so females typically produce a limited number. In contrast, depending on the species, males produce far more sperm than eggs. Millions, billions, or even trillions more. Even after fertilization, females tend to invest more in each offspring. In most birds and mammals, females just ate give birth or lay eggs, and even provide care for the young. Males, meanwhile, can continue to reproduce with other females. This leads to two dynamics. One, males tend to compete with each other over access to females, which can lead to males being larger and stronger. For example, silverback gorillas fight for dominance and to secure mating rights. And two, females tend to be more selective when choosing mates, which can lead to males evolving elaborate displays like colors, songs, and dances to attract females. The result of sexual selection is sexual dimorphism, or the physical differences between males and females. For example, male elephant seals have that big nose, or proboscis, and can be 10 times larger than females. Male mandrels are more colorful and can weigh three times more than females. And while the male cardinal is showy, the female has the luck of being more camouflaged. So what's happening with the peacock? In the 1990s, Dr. Marion Petrie cut eye spots off the tails of some male peacocks and left others intact, and found that males with modified tails were significantly less successful in attracting mates. Apparently, the peahens preferred the males with more eye spots. So why do peacocks have giant colorful tails? Because peahens think they're sexy. I don't know why, you'll have to ask a peahen. But I do know that biology is awesome.